In today's lesson, we're going to learn about whale in Roblox. So, right here I have a couple of different parts. Like I placed them close together, and here there's a, uh, two more parts being placed close together. And look what happened when I press play. As you can see, everything falls apart because they are not welded together. So in today's lesson, we're going to learn about weld in Roblox. How can you attach parts together so that they don't fall apart? So in this lesson, I'm going to show you a, a couple of different ways that you can do to weld your parts together. The first method is to turn on the joint surfaces here. And then you're just going to place your parts together. And as you place them together, you see there's a white line there. It means that they have been welded. You see, each part as it touches the other part, there is a white line. And that means your parts have been welded together. And if, if you check on the right hand side here, at the Explorer window, you can see that there is a weld constraint attached to those parts. Alright, so now let's press play and before we press play, let me do it to this one too. And this one, you don't see the white line, so maybe this one is not going to work. So let's press play and see what happens. And there it is. You see these four blocks has been welded together. So they don't fall apart, but the rectangular part and the sphere, it did not work. So this first method works well for the rectangular parts, but not when you want to weld the ball to the rectangular part. So that brings us to our second method. So to weld the ball to the uh, rectangular part, let me first select the ball first. Let me se select move and maybe I don't need to move. So this is the ball. Let me rename this so I know which part it is. So this is the ball. And this one Let's call it the, the pole. All right, so I have the pole and I have the ball. Now I want to weld these two parts together. So I'm going to go, let's go to the pole and click on the plus sign. And let me enter in the search, op search object here. I'm going to enter weld and I'm going to select weld constraint. Let's click on the weld constraint and we're going to go to the properties window click on part zero now it's going to let us select which part is part zero so i'm going to select the pole and then i'm going to go back here click on part one and that i'm going to select the ball so now they have been welded together the, the pole and the ball let's play to test And there you see it, like the ball and the pole, they stay together. They, they, they're not gonna fall apart. Same thing with the other one, but the other one we use joint surfaces to weld them. This one, the second part here, we, again, we use weld constraint to weld them. And we select part zero and part one. There is one more uh, welding technique that I, I can show you. So let's um, let's undo these four parts. Let's say so. I'm gonna delete all the welds from my blocks over here. The four blocks, right? Let me go and delete the welds there. Okay. So those, if you press play now, they're gonna fall apart, right? That they're not welded together. These two are still welded together. 
what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to my model tab right and I'm gonna select I'm gonna go to my crate here drop down the crate drop down and I'm gonna select weld actually you know what I'm gonna select my parts first before I click there right so I'm gonna select all these four parts here and now I'm gonna go to my drop down and I'm gonna select weld and now as you can see they have the uh, weld constraint attached to them so now if I if I press play it's not gonna fall apart You see, they, they are welded together and they're not going to fall apart. Okay, one more thing I would like to point out is in the uh, constraints section here under the model tab, right? Under the create button, you have the show welds button. And if you click on that, it would show you the weld. So, so you can see these two parts have been welded together, right? You see the line here and you can make the line like thicker or thinner. It's up to you. Like if I change six to one, you see the line is very thin now. If I make it uh, like a 10, you see the line is very thick. And when I make it a 10, you can also see the, the welds in these parts as well, right? You see, see the welds in those parts? Um, when they were six before you can really see them because they, they are actually hidden inside the blocks but if I move the block up you, you would see the well you see see right there that's the well all right so um, those are the different methods of welding in Roblox that you can use to attach your parts together